It's already Friday. Hard to believe these days, these weeks go by like minutes an hour. Grains through an hourglass. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we only have Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, uh, the father of Reaganomics, one of the top 10 uh, living economists, according to Forbes magazine, joining us on a host of issues, the economy, but also the unfolding police state in the second hour for 30 minutes. And we'll have open phones and uh, just a mega massive news. Uh, if hauling in evidence of uh, tyranny was uh, compared to fishing, on a regular day we catch 50-pound fish. Today, let's not exaggerate, 1,000-pound fish, 2,000-pound fish. I mean, each one of these articles is, is just, just, just gigantically insane. And when I come in and see this type of news that we've been working on yesterday and today, researching, I just go, come on, Jones, don't go into your perseveration don't go into your, you know, overheating, spinning out of control. Be disciplined for America. Get to the news and analysis. So we're going to do that today. And boy, let me tell you, it is just bonkers off the chart. All confirmed, all insane. Just unbelievable. Uh, it's red linked up on Infowars.com. And you know what? I'm going to tell my crew to red link basically all these. Because when something deserves a red link, it gets a red link. Sometimes we have one red link in a week. Sometimes we have two in a day. Usually it's about one a week or so. Look at these headlines on Infowars.com. Look at these headlines. U.S. Army buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo. Yeah, almost four million. And popular civilian firearms. Buying them up and putting them in warehouses. Even says they just have it sitting there. And this is just one of the purchases last week. Again, the article is up on Infowars.com, U.S. Army buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo and popular civilian firearms. Uh, they're buying uh, the Russian handguns, the Russian 7.6239 uh, SKS and AK-47 semi-autos. Uh, they're buying their rifles as well. And folks, 3 million just plus of the AK-47 that no NATO country uses. It's the Warsaw Soviet ammo. And by the way, we did some looking. It turns out I was looking on the FedBiz site. They've been doing this the last few years. Never before. I mean, you might on one Marine Corps training base have an AK-47 and they get a little bit of ammo procured so they can, you know, learn the sound of it or whatever in Vietnam. And I even made some phone calls to veterans uh, I have in my family and they said, no, there's, there's no AK-47s. And he said, uh, you know, they said, sometimes you hear about the Marines of the Army having them back in Vietnam. And sometimes in country, people preferred those. This is, my, I think my uncle said he had a little Swedish submachine gun he liked to carry in the helicopter in case they got shot down, which he was shot down six times. He will not talk about it, though. We dug through his trunk once, my cousin and I, when we were about 12 years old, we were the same age. He's a year younger than me and read it all. Oh, I guess he's hearing that for the first time here on air. <laughs> I'm sorry he was at work when we did that. I apologize. Anyways, he listens every day. Hi. Uh, the point is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, he used to deliver special forces uh, into hot zones, and that's why he was shot down so many times, super highly decorated. Uh, he said, though, you never even paid attention when the tracers were coming up. You were just over the site picking people up, and, and they're shooting at you. And he said they would sit on phone books, and uh, he tell, I guess he told some of the stories when I was a kid. They'd sit on phone books and uh, helmets when the bullets were coming up into there. And he said, you never got the smell of the blood out of the helicopters either. They smell like a dead cow. All that rotten blood just cooking down in the parts underneath it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with U.S. Army buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo and popular civilian firearms. Compelling proof Department of Defense is also drying up firearms and ammo supply, joining DHS. Obama uh, tells DHS to plan to kill peaceful protesters in sniper attacks. That's been declassified. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show. All right, I want to continue reading from the article I put together this morning with 
Julie Wilson here, and basically what I do is I will do spoken word into a tape recorder, into an iPhone, and then she just transcribes it into the article. So you're going to see more and more articles from me because she's good at transcription. I'm, I'm even thinking about bringing a transcriber in here just so I can get stuff done quicker because I speak a lot better even when I'm off air and, and more focused <coughs> to make my points, but that's why it also reads like spoken word. You can read the article at InfoWars.com. Obama DHS planned to kill peaceful protesters in sniper attacks. This is how they create an army of killer feds, contractors, and police prepare sniper death squads. Again, this is how they create an army of killer feds, contractors, and police to carry out death squad operations. She, she took my exact transcript and put that. That's one issue with these transcript articles we have to work on is that they need to, she, she's transcribing literally what I'm writing and then, and then I just need to work on getting it when I say something that isn't proper English or, or I'm talking so quick recording this, we need to update that. Uh, Kurt, the regular editor, is out sick today. It says, this is how they create an army of killer feds, contractors, and police prepared. It's prepared to carry out sniper death squad operations. Prepared to carry out sniper death squad operations. And then it continues here with the article. The document above was obtained through a freedom of Information Act request filed by the Partnership for Civil Justice Fund. You can click to read the document. In June, Infowars.com cited a report by who, what, why .com revealing that the FBI was aware of an organized, possibly uh, local police department or private security company that had plans to assassinate peaceful protesters during the Occupy movement. The classified document revealed the FBI was planning, quote, an identified, deleted, as of October, plan to engage in sniper attacks against protesters in Houston, Texas, if deemed necessary, and identified, deleted, had received intelligence that indicated the protesters in New York and Seattle planned similar protests in Houston, Dallas, San Antonio, and Austin, Texas, deleted, planned to gather intelligence against the leaders of the protest group and obtain photographs, then formulate a plan to kill the leadership via suppressed sniper rifles. According to journalist David Linderorf, the FBI planned to assassinate the leaders of the now morbid Occupy movement via suppressed sniper rifles, a follow-up report by Kurt Nemo confirmed via the document. The following is a transcript of Alex Jones' spoken analysis. And it goes on, it is essential to understand that information is being declassified on purpose to create a chilling effect against constitutionally protected activities like demonstrations and protest. But it's also there to mainline the idea that assassination death squads are operating within America. When you have the president signing the NDAA publicly saying we can kill, disappear Americans, we can torture, we can do whatever we want, that can then be given to special forces, contractors, and others as the rubber stamp authorization, but still it's fraudulent, who have already been carrying out these types of seek and destroy operations in foreign countries, so they're, so they're very, very good at it. So again, they believe this is legal and lawful. In essence, this is a public rollout or testing of the waters, a trial balloon for death squads to operate openly in America. All of this in the name of terrorism when the government itself has become the ultimate terrorist. This is a psychological warfare operation against the police, military, and the general public. It is the mainlining and the normalization of the most barbarous, over-the-top illegal activities the government can engage in. Historically, the open premeditated plan to murder peaceful demonstrators on a scale that dwarfs the Kent State Massacre at those protests. This is a test to contractors, police, and military, and feds to see if they will follow standby orders to kill you. This is how they are creating an army of killers. The police need to know this is a PSYOP aimed at them to see if they will carry out over the top evil. We're talking about a truly hijacked road government.
that's done this clandestinely in the third world for over 60 years and is now bringing it home. I had tried everything. I'd cut back the amount of food I was eating. I was lifting weights and jogging, but nothing was working. My body was literally starving for minerals and trace elements as well as key vitamins. And as soon as I had that, I immediately could eat half of what I was eating previously and be satisfied. Now, there are hundreds of great products at InfoWarsTeam.com, but I want to point out the three that have helped me lose 37 pounds in just two months. Products like Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Pollen Burst, and Rebound. When I started taking the Tangy Tangerine and other products every day, I lost more than 37 pounds in just two months. Now that's results. I want to challenge my listeners to go to InfoWarsTeam.com and to order just three of their products, and you will see the changes in the way you look, feel, and in your appetite almost immediately. Start your journey to health and wellness today. InfoWarsTeam.com. You need to understand this uh, FBI document is talking about federal government contractors and local police with suppressed sniper rifles to take out the leadership, not, not take out hostage takers, not to, just to, to, to kill political opposition. And I was reminded the other day when they somebody dug up uh, a video of... Uh, Myself and others, it's over on Mike Hansen Archives on YouTube, protesting the Ku Klux Klan back in 1999. One of my many protests of the Klan, when they would come out, basically fed, run, to stir up people, I would, I would go out and protest them. I need to go out and do that some more. And in Waco, we're sitting there, and there, there's a parking garage across from the um, courthouse. And everybody goes, look, Alex, wherever you go, the police, snipers, are aimed at you. And so there's video where I start walking over and they're aimed right at me and I'm wearing a t-shirt and pants. I clearly have no nothing on me. They knew who I was, no criminal record. Uh, I was building a memorial church for the Davidians that were murdered. I've even interviewed the sheriff before he died who was uh, sad about what happened. And so the cops knew who I was and they were aiming the rifle at me and following me with it until I went over with a camera and then they stopped aiming it at me, just as pure intimidation. And that's what this is all about, is the plan under InfraGuard to even authorize executives and in infrastructure protection uh, to be deputized to kill people during a purge. And that came out uh, in several magazines about six years ago. You can look up the original articles uh, on InfraGuard. So this is all really over-the-top stuff, kind of like NDAA, secretly kill Americans, secretly torture Americans, secretly disappear Americans. This is real, just like America, the good guys, tortures. The good guys spy on you. The good guys forcibly inoculate you. The good guys kill Pat Tillman and then say he died fighting Al-Qaeda and get caught and nobody gets in trouble. Because it's not the good guys. And because we've been so naive, we've allowed evil to grow and grow and grow. This is not our government. These are criminal elements that have hijacked the nation. And I know I keep going over that, but here are these articles. U.S. Army buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo and popular civilian firearms that the U.S. Army has never used and is not part of their arsenal. And we've got another article coming out very soon about the National Weather Service again buying more ammo. I mean, every day there's millions of rounds one day. The next day it's 100,000. The next day it's 25,000. The next day it's a half million. The next day it's 3 million. I mean, it's just every federal agency you can imagine is out there just going completely hog wild insane. And how the media discredits this, the controlled media, is they'll go, Alex Jones says there's 1.6 billion rounds bought in the last year. Now it's like 2 billion, 400 million or something. And look, Social Security Administration just bought 200,000. They need it. It wasn't 1.6. So they cherry pick. It'd be like, Alex says there's 7, pe 7 billion people in the world. But he's a liar. There's only a million in Austin, Texas. And you're like, that's not even a good lie. You like line item, one of thousands of purchases on CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, 
and say, I'm a liar on all these shows. So people go, oh, I've been psychologically inoculated to that guy. He's a liar. It was only 200,000, Martha, that they got, not 1.6 billion. Oh, that's that guy that lied and said they were going to have drones over America or blimps. By the way, it's been announced in uh, RT, Reuters today. DC is to have blimps over it watching everyone. Uh, they launched the blimps in 2003. And it was in local newspapers. And all I did was, look, local news, they've launched blimps. Uh, they've got them up over every major city now. Uh, and they're uh, powered by... Uh, solar panels on the top and they have ground penetrating radar and face scanning cameras and uh, uh, laser microphones and uh, here, here's here's Alexander Haig's company that uh, started it all in the 19 uh, early 1990s and uh, oh crazy blimps blimps and then it's just uh, it, look about 95 percent of what I tell you is public I'm trying to explain this to you I know it sounds crazy it sounds dystopic to say, oh, they're torturing people's kids in front of them. They're putting poison in the water. Uh, here's a Harvard study admitting it. Here's a White House science are saying it's to dumb you down. I mean, they're admitting it. This is not my opinion. Have I gone a little crazy knowing this information? Am I in like full verbal combat mode with these people? Has it has it has been working this hard this long? Have I gotten a little bit eccentric? Yeah, folks, you're, you bet. I, I'm pretty freaked out right now. And I'm so awake and I'm so aware. It's like torture. It's torture to pick up all the archetypal symbolism in films, the subliminals. It's torture to pick up all the spins, the 10 layers of propaganda on MSNBC, the manipulation, the twisting, the lies. It's unbelievable. Oh, these people are all coached by the CIA and big think tanks on how to screw people up. And now that's admitted as of last week. But it was admitted before that. It, I mean, they were like, oh, yeah, CNN's run by the CIA. And people are like, oh, yeah, right. It's like when I had that Esquire writer here. They got a big cover story coming out in the September issue, middle of August. He'd go, Delta Force was at the Seattle thing. And he'd look it up and go, it actually was. Or he'd go, the White House science czar said, put stuff in the water to reduce fertility. Yeah, right. And he's like, oh, they, he did. Uh, uh. Well, Rachel Maddow says you said they sent the tornado. He went to the full video. He goes, no, actually, you didn't. You're right. And I said, the only place you may have me is I say the whole government's evil. That's not true, but the people running it basically are. And then the other people are in such denial right beside it. They'll just give them some flimsy cover story of, you know, you open your, your door and some guy's on top of your wife and he's like, oh, I'm a doctor doing a uh, gynecological exam. I mean, it's just, you know, oh, okay, thank you, doctor. And he's not even wearing a white lab coat. I mean, she's not even dressed up like a nurse. I mean, it's like, at some point... Folks, you're really asking for it, is what I'm saying. For, for, for new listeners, for people who think this is all funny, this ain't funny. And I guess I'm kind of a grown-up Boy Scout. Who ain't a nice guy, after all? No more Mr. Nice Guy. Because you dance with the devil, the devil doesn't change, you change. Look into the abyss too long, you may become the abyss. I have become the abyss to a great extent. I mean, I've got my f one foot in one world and one foot in the other, but I, I basically am these people now. I've studied it to such a point that very few globalists, they're all compartmentalized, specialized in their criminal area, and I see how they all just work like a symbiotic jellyfish or something. You know, jellyfish are really hive composite creatures made up of hundreds of thousands or millions of single cell organisms. And that's what the New World Order is. It's like a swarm of evil. And I, I basically have reached master New World Order, psych warfare, societal annihilation degree. I mean, I know them. I know as much as their top people do. I really do. And let me tell you, man, it is, it is freaky. It is horrible. It is horrible.
And I know it's horrible for those of you that are smart and have figured this out as well. It's, I, I know what people say, I can't listen, I got to tune out of this, this is too, too intense, but that's going to destroy us, folks. We've got to admit how sick we are and how screwed up this is. And we've got to suppress our instinct to just go nihilistically eat, drink, and be merry because tomorrow we die. Oh, God. I'm watching the cancer of tyranny, of authoritarianism grow, spread its horrible wings over society so it can suck our blood and relative comfort. And I just watched the, the whole economy converted over to fraud economy, crony economy. Now, civilization is built by a code of honor, a code of ethics, a social contract and, 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 and people working together under good common sense rules. But what happens when the social engineers are insane and try to overturn the, uh, the common law and the common sense and invert things? Well, then it becomes the duty to resist and to not comply and to subvert the subversion, to rebel against the rebellion to restore the republic, because I've seen nothing better. Though it was never implemented in full, partially implemented, it created maximum levels of liberty this world has ever seen. Ingenuity, strength, honor flowed from it. Security flowed from it. So evil all came here to take it over because with the goodness came great strength, and then we follow the same cycle of falling. <sighs> and now the criminals have gotten in control. They're screwing everything up. They've even created a cosmology and compartmentalized, knowing they're going to collapse things, that that's good for the earth, Agenda 21, while they do things that are actually horrible for the earth because their real desire is just to hurt things because they're psychopathic. Time to talk to the devil is what's going on here. They've been talking to the devil for a long time, and they like it. It's all they know. It's, it sends a thrill up their leg. To have the devil's arm around them. And we sit here 100% watching Homeland Security with all the agencies in the Pentagon trying to buy up every form of civilian ammo. They're buying every little 380, you name it. I mean, they're getting, they're buying just everything, weird shotgun, 20 gauge. They are just absolutely trying to drive up the price out of the general public's hands because they plan a massive civil war in this country where they stage IED attacks everywhere and then say the veterans are doing it and then the veterans are suspect and only Homeland can save us. And that's the real scripting in all the Homeland Security documents, and that right there should indict them all. I mean, you know it's a foreign corporate occupation force really trying to establish the idea of a purge against the American resistance. I mean, this is real. This is really happening. I'm really on air opposing these people. This is, you're really opposing them. This is really happening. And Homeland Security started 12 years ago, 11 years ago or so, uh, saying, I saw it on C-SPAN, you're going to have to have Homeland Security authorization to have a job anywhere with a national ID card. And now they're going into movie theaters, malls, uh, saying your security has to be certified by us or we're going to put our own DHS in them. And now they're in the shopping malls and now they're on the streets where I live and you drive and you see Army. Uh, one day I saw Army twice on the streets directing traffic and running checkpoints. And again, all just to acclimate and, and military drills. And just, you can just see a program that is being brought in. And, 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 and again, TSA uh, searching people at a San Antonio mall. Uh, yeah, there it is, TSA K-9 in San Antonio near the stroller rental area with a dog. I mean, it's just... It's all happening, and it's just there to get us like animals, domesticated, accustomed to it. And they plan a giant purge, and, and, and people are like, well, I'll just go along with it. Well, that, that's exactly, that, you're who they want to go after. I mean, if you're a lion, do you go after a gazelle that has its leg broken and isn't running, or that's got a fever and has fallen down, or do you go after one that runs? No, you go after the sickly one.
And you people think you're going to grovel to it and learn to lick its boots to the obese TSA person that comes over in the mall to grab your genitals and, and to prisoner train you, prisoner acclimate you. I mean, that's, they're just going to take you down. They're going to take your bank accounts. They're going to make you do compulsory national service. Uh, and it's just so horrible to see America go into scientific evil. And I'm really sorry I have to tell you all this. I mean, it's all just happening. I, I don't know what to say. And Boston bombing was a beta test. If, if I get killed for anything, it'll be for exposing that. They, they are hopping mad at us for that. We blew them wide open. That was a savage blow to the globalist. And they're totally freaking out that alternative press uh, is going to go to their other events as soon as they blow stuff up. So they know we're watching them. They're freaked out right now. And uh, I'm freaked out. And the whole thing's horrible, and it's horrible, 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 horrible. It's a horrible nightmare. It's all a horrible nightmare. And, it, and I mean, only repenting is going to fix it. Only admitting how screwed up we are is going to fix this. You know, I saw an article on Infowars.com by Michael Steiner, The American Dream, that had, I don't know, 15 examples. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. I can just approximate, but 16 links to mainstream news where at college they make you draw the name Jesus on a piece of paper and then stomp on it screaming Jesus is bad. And if you don't do that, you're expelled. If you, in your poem, mention Jesus, you get in trouble. That, that's total free speech. That's not separation of church and state. Separation of church and state means the government can't tell you what to do with your religion. You're free to talk about it whenever you want. And I read that this morning, and I went and looked at it, and I, I, I remember most of these stories. But, I mean, this is just the last few months. I mean, this is crazy, naked Soviet-style authoritarianism. I mean, this is just 200-proof evil. I, I mean, this is just, just, it, it's just it's everywhere, and it's worse and worse. And it's so obvious, it's so certified, it's so illegal, it's so horrible, it's so bad, it's so horrible. And it's just going to get worse and worse, and they're going to blow stuff up and come arrest everybody. There's going to be a big shooting war, it's going to wipe out the police and military, it's going to radicalize who's left. They're going to bring in foreign troops. It's all official. America's going to implode. And then after the Civil War, the globalists will buy everything up for one cent on the dollar, re-engineer everything. They're going to do a Soviet-style mal-purge on everybody. And it's just at the end of it, I want David Rockefeller and the Rothschilds and the New World Order to be brought to justice. you got to beat them, and they've got to be not allowed to run to Argentina, folks. We are going to beat you. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. and arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more. Coming in the month of June to the Info War. There's no way to win with the devil. The cosmic con artist. And I think a lot of you that have gotten in deep with evil, you know that now. So stop talking falsely. The hour's getting late. Stop lying to yourself. Stop saying you haven't done anything wrong. Stop saying you haven't laid there and not taken action. We are all along the watchtower, ladies and gentlemen. I said I'd get to all the news, and already an hour has almost transpired. I mean, just look at these headlines. U.S. Army buying millions of rounds of Russian ammo that they don't use to dry up the market. On record, boom. This is off the, off the charts. And the, civil, the inexpensive, well-functioning firearms that so many people that can't afford expensive AR-15s are getting. So instead of an SKS being 60 bucks back when I bought one 20 years ago, they're now $500. Department of Defense. Your money to make sure you can't get guns. Obama DHS plan to kill peaceful protesters and sniper attacks. Oh, yeah. 
Homeland Security is now regulating live entertainment. Paul Watson up on Infowars.com. Indiana DHS demands restaurant owner get permit to play live music. There is no more local government if they have their way. Democratic leaders, all Americans may be in communication with terrorists. And they say that if you're in communication, even not knowingly, you can be secretly killed or disappeared. Lawmakers endorse NSA spy with bizarre justification, saying everyone is a potential terrorist. But them that actually work with Al-Qaeda publicly and are giving Al-Qaeda weapons right now, publicly. Uh, that's just some of the news. UK web censorship filter controlled by communist Chinese front group. You cannot make that up. Well, of course, they're the experts at it. <laughs> That's up on Infowars.com. Pentagon to deploy huge blimps over Washington for D.C. for 360-degree surveillance. They are not about to deploy them. They're just deploying another fleet. It's kind of like the ocean's going to start becoming wet. Told you about that. Uh, you know, told you about that and, well, many years ago. Now you can watch the Infowars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.